Aquarius, welcome to your May 2022 reading. This is for my Aquarius' Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going to be a general reading, but whatever comes through, we're going to see. I'm also going to come, as soon as I'm done this session, I'm going to come back and do another live um, reading. There's so much going on, like May 30th um, is another full moon, which there was already a full moon in April, so this one's going to be a black moon. Also, there is the um, Jupiter and Venus conjunction. Mercury in retrograde is... Uh, May 10th, so we have a lot going on that's going to, you know, enhance communication with one another. Okay. But for this reading, it's for May 2022 for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. 36. Koi Fish Spirit. There is always enough. So that's a card of nine. For those of you that are new, please subscribe, like, and share. By doing that, um, you'll continue to get notifications from YouTube of all the readings that I post. But also, I can pick up on your energy as I meditate and bring more personal messages to you. Whether you subscribe and leave a comment or just like the video, I can pick up on that energy. And for those of you that have inquired about personal readings, my Etsy shop uh, the link is below. Um, the, it's load is 444, so you can head over there and see what I offer. Spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. 36, 36, 36. Pay attention to repeating nines and repeating 36s. Archangel Ariel is here, second chakra. Also, pay attention to repeating fours, women holding a heart. It's at the bottom. All right, let's see. Navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. I feel like May is going to be a little magical for you. All Please come to me and show me the present situation for my Aquarius's sun, moon, rising, and Venus during the month of May. Six of Swords. So you're moving to like a better place, a more harmonious place um, in your life. Peaceful. You might be purchasing a new home. But it's like you're, tr you're moving towards like better times in your life. Four of Cups. Somebody might come forward and offer you something that makes you feel like, you know, you either have to relocate, um, but it adds to your better times, your more harmonious times. And look, there's water, water, 
you might be traveling. All right, Spirit. What is the future? What is the future energy in May? Oh, these cards are so big that so many want, want to come out at one time. Or it's my little hands. Um, the future energy in May for Aquarius. Future energy in May for Aquarius. All right, two came out. Two of Pentacles, getting balanced in your life, going with the flow, having fun. Like I said, just with all that blue water and, you know, it just looks so harmonious and like you're maybe going to take a vacation soon. Three of Swords. There's something that might have caused you pain just recently. Could have been, you know, with work, could have been with your finances, it could have been with somebody that is very close to your heart. But it's like you're getting that balance back from that situation. And with the lovers at the bottom, I feel like it definitely might be from somebody that, you know, you're in a commitment with, with or that you really care about. What are Aquarius's strengths? During the month of May, Spirit. Aquarius's strengths during the month of May. Four of Wands. And I got to tell you, look at this. This is at the bottom, the Nine of Pentacles. You might have, there's a lot of birds here. You might have um, a connection to, uh, you know, birds. Pay attention to birds being around you when you're watching this video. But it's like you're getting to, um, you know, a more happy home life, more peaceful home life. Um, you're like in a sacred space with yourself and the people around you. Your soul tribe, your friends, your family. It's just happiness. The hummingbird is always happy in the present moment. And you're, you're creating that happiness for yourself. Pay attention to feathers in the near future too. It might be spirit's way of getting your attention. But it's like you're creating this happiness for yourself. And this one came out. You might have walked away from something recently with the three of swords. You might have walked away from something but by walking away from it, you were getting away from something that was no longer serving you, no longer resonating with you. It was like a big, a big sigh of relief and it's causing this happiness, this stability. Can I please have a weakness for my Aquarius during this time? A weakness spirit for my Aquarius, thank you. And what is the overall outcome for May? For my Aquarius is so new as a weakness. Overall outcome for May. Okay. There's some kind of action you're taking this month. It's like full steam ahead on something. Eight of Wands is like you know, Cupid's arrows, it's like fast action, optimistic about something. See all the greenness, all the like the, you, like your heart's open towards something and you're making a move towards it. There might be an offer coming in from a page of wands, a younger fire sign. Might be an offer to begin something new to work on something together. But it's like with this being a weakness, it's spirit's way of saying like, don't be so quick to act on an offer that might be coming to you. Like feel it out. The raccoon being the page of wands, it's very like spontaneous, like gets an idea and goes out there and does it. So you might have an idea to pursue something and you just want to jump on it. But Spirit's saying, like, take time, navigate by the stars, get the full picture, get the energy right, 
and then proceed. And then look at this justice. Everything is going to work out in your favor. Everything is like coming into balance for you. All right. We're going to clarify some of these cards. But overall, this is a great month for you. Somebody might have hurt you just recently, like I said. But I feel like if you haven't walked away from it yet, when you do, it's going to be like a weight off your shoulders with the four of wands there. It's like you creating your own happiness by letting go of, like I said, the, the energy that no longer belongs in your life. Please clarify the six of swords for Aquarius's energy in the moment. Yeah, you might be moving towards somebody. Two of, two of cups. You might be moving towards someone... You might be at a distance from someone and traveling towards them. You might have had just had a disagreement with someone and you're moving towards them because you want to make it work. Please clarify the overall. Yeah. Well, we're going to see what popped out, but I thought that is the wrong question. Yeah, the two of you, you moving towards somebody with the two of cops is like you're both moving out of a situation where you have the illusion of being stuck, of having struggles. Please clarify the future energy. Two of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Future energy, Two of Pentacles and Three of Swords. The future energy is like you're trying to get balance from something that hurt you, that caused burden in your life. Five of Pentacles, that had you feeling sad and defeated but with the judgment card here and the eight of chalices like i said you're making that call to walk away from it it goes this way you're making that move you're following your intuition your gut feeling and you're walking away from something to a brand new beginning What is Aquarius walking away from this month? Ten of Swords. Something that is there's going to be an ending. Or if there was an ending, you're moving towards them to reconcile. King of Pentacles, King of Swords. He's just popped out without me asking. Aquarius, are you making a decision on two different people? This could be two men in a same-sex relationship. This could that could be a sign that's resonating for you. Or are you know, are there two people in your life that you need to make a choice? You're moving towards one and moving away from the other. Yeah, it's like you might be moving away from one and starting a brand new ace of wands, a brand new connection with the other. Hmm. What is this ending for? There's two tens. What is ending in Aquarius' life? What is ending in Aquarius' life, Spirit? Please help me understand. The world, there is an ending coming to something that was definitely toxic in your life. But by ending that, you're getting mental clarity, mental stability. It's like you're taking a hold of the demon. There's definitely, and you're going to have to let me know how this resonates because it's going to be different for each one of you. Please clarify the rack here. But I think for some of you, you might have to choose between two people. You're walking away from one and walking towards the other. The raccoon is the moon. There are like things hidden with this offer coming in with the raccoon. Seven of chalices. It's like you have a lot of choices to make. A lot of things are presenting to you in the month of May. And you're going to have to like seek through them and gain that balance. Figure out what is, you know, most a priority to you. Who is a most, who, who is most a priority to you? Why is the raccoon here with the moon? 
but things are coming to light. Why is the raccoon here with the moon? They both wanted to come out. Yeah, it's you are doing what's best for you this month. Like I said, you are walking away. There's endings here for someone, for something. It definitely is a relationship for some. But it's like toxic situations that are going to that are going to lead you back to your yourself, to success within yourself. It's going to cause a huge like rising up within yourself by you getting away from everything that no longer serves you. And you are being protected by Archangel Michael. Like I said, things are coming to light this month for you, Aquarius. You're going to have a victory by the end of this month for yourself. Please clarify justice as the overall outcome for me. Two of Swords and Knight of Chalices. You might be a little closed off to this offer coming in. But with justice here, it's like spirits telling you to make a choice. This person is coming in with an offer and it's going to bring balance to your life. It's going to be very trustworthy. It's going to like make everything wrong that happened. It's going to make it all right. So spirit saying, be open to it. Be willing to work on this. This offer coming in, be willing to put the work in. And with the Hierophant, it's divinely guided. Like I said, with that Ace of Swords popping out, right? And there's the Ace of Wands. This person coming towards you, even though you're coming right out of an ending of something, Spirit's saying, do not be closed off to this. Pay attention. Because this person is going to help with your happiness. It's going to feel like everything is becoming right again. Because it's like you're shining. With whatever you're walking away from, or clearing your life from. It's like spirit's way of saying, you know, you're rising up. Look how much you're shining because you're not scared to get rid of. You don't have that fear to get rid of the things that are in your life that don't belong there anymore. People feel fear change. But when you sometimes when you go through the change is when you really discover your self-worth. All right, please bring clarity to Clarice's main reading. Had to break these down into two piles. These tea, tea leaf cards are amazing, but there's so many of them. And I just feel like a ton pop out at one time, and sometimes I don't feel like it's accurate. Okay. okay. These are things that are could occur for some of you, most of you. Okay, King. Pay attention to your health. So during this month of May, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling like you need a rest or a break, or you need to travel somewhere, do that if you can. If not, have a staycation with yourself. Make it a longer weekend away from work. Just take the break from your life that you need and focus on you. Just as I say that, look at this one, hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. There's a need for most of you in the month of May to just, just push everyone out. Maybe go by the stars. Take a deep breath. Talk to your spirit guides by the stars. Get clarity on your life. It's okay. Every I do it all the time. There was something, of course, that had to happen and get to me, get me to the spiritual awakening. And sometimes you just have to go within. Search your soul and pay. Just put your trust in whatever your spirit source is. They will bring you that clarity. They will bring you that clarity, that victory, that understanding. Look, it's coming your way. This offer coming in by the end of the month. 
this is what it's going to feel like. Like you're rising up. Like everything is just amazing. Muddled, unclear thinking. And that's what I just preached about. You got to get clarity for yourself. Don't expect people to bring clarity to you. Don't expect people to bring closure to you. You put the closure in effect yourself. You know, like some people just want, well, I need closure. No, you don't. You just focus on your spirit of source. Go with your soul. If you're asking for a if you're asking for a closure on something, you already you already know the closure. You don't need the words. You don't need the actions. Just be the empress. Be the emperor, masculine or feminine, the person that you're meant to be in this world. You're stronger than anything you can possibly imagine. You just have to find it in you. And everybody goes through that time where they have to find it. Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Maybe somebody you haven't reached out to in a while. Maybe a friend from, you know, when you were children. A journey, either physical or mental. You're going to have to let me know how this resonates because I do feel like there's a vacation for some of you. You may be traveling to someone you love. For others of you, there might be two people that you need to one end one with, begin another one with. But by the end of the month, whatever you're walking away from and taking that brand new offer on is going to bring complete happiness to your life. Like, look, the communication is coming in. It's like, because now you're the Empress rising, you, you're closing out the things that no longer, it's like, um, oh, the death card. It's a transformation for yourself. It's a transformation of being not willing to make a decision with the two of swords. And look, as soon as you make that decision, it's your 10 of cups. You fall right into that happiness. It opens a door completely to your happiness. And why? Because you're now the high priestess. You rose up and became that empress. And now you know your self-worth. You know your power. All right, this is amazing. All right, Aquarius, this is your reading. Um, for some of you, it's going to be about love. Just let me know how it resonates. And for those of you that are going through some pain, let me know and I will send healing energy your way. Oh, I don't think I... We didn't do this one. Kangaroo. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Yeah, let me know how it resonates, okay? So love and light, guys. I'll be back for many more readings. Stay safe.